Hey everyone, Kel Mike here from MLive.com, joined by Justin Rogers. It is playoff time, Justin. Uh, well, January football for the Lions. I'm hitting the road to face the, to face the Cowboys on Sunday. Uh, they've lost uh, seven uh, uh, playoff games in a row, six one and duns in a row. Can they win? Can they win? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I think, will they? Will they win? Oh well, well, well that's a different question. Uh, I, I think this is an awesome matchup. You know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to watching how this game plays out. There's a fantastic strength on strength matchup with mm -hmm. Dallas's offensive line versus Detroit's defensive line, and, and I think that's where the game's going to ultimately be decided. Um, you know, if, if the Lions can contain Demarco Murray and and force Tony Romo alone to beat them, despite how great his season's been. Um, it's the games where he's been, a, you know, forced to do it on his own, where, where Dallas has been uh, most vulnerable. Um, I, I do not have the Lions winning this game. I, I think it's going to be very close. I think it's going to be a one-score game. Uh, even though Dallas has been pouring on the points in December, something around 40 points a game, I think it's going to be a little bit more lower scoring. Uh, but, but I have the Lions falling just short, and it's, it's largely because I, I don't believe in their offense. They, they haven't got it done much of the year, and... Um, I, I don't know why in, in week 17 I'm, or week 18 I'm, I'm expected to believe that now is going to all come together. I think this is a fantastic matchup for the Lions. I'm not sure if, there's, if there could have been a better matchup outside the NFC South, obviously, uh, for the Lions in, in the postseason. Uh, what does Dallas do best? It's, it's the rushing offense. What the Lions do best? Well, they have a run-neutralizing defense. Um, and I think they struggled a little bit last week with Lacey, but you, know, you learn from your mistakes and you move on. And I think that's almost a wake-up call for this team heading into the postseason. Uh, I, I just think that the, the defense can, can, can neutralize the Cowboys' offense, and so it's kind of the game will be decided on the other side of the ball. And St Stafford's played well against the Cowboys. Calvin's played really well against the Cowboys. They, they play better in the Dome than they do outside. I, I think there will be a comfort factor for them there. I, I, I think with all the drama that's been around the team this week, you're going to get a, a heightened um, focus this week. I mean, that's a strange thing to say in a, in a league where every game and every play can mean so much. But they're, they're just an edge to this team, and they've been extremely, extremely loose all week. Uh, on Friday afternoon, they were getting ready to pack up and leave the locker room for the, you know, after their week of practice, Justin. And they're, they're playing uh, Notorious B.I.G.'s Juicy, and everyone's singing along. I mean, it, it was really a, a sight for us to behold. And you know that, that song, for those who don't know, is, but it's all about you know, getting rich, so to say, like coming from nowhere and making it somewhere. And that kind of, kind of to me, it's, it just kind of symbolic of the lines a little bit. I, I, I think this is a great matchup for them, and I do think they win this game. I think the area where I could be very wrong in this prediction is is how Stafford plays. Uh, you mentioned he's played very well against Dallas. I think things change too much year to year for, for me to read in too much of that, but the, the schemes that they run coverage-wise are very similar to what they run in Chicago and very similar to what they run in Tampa Bay. Those are two teams that Detroit had their most success against beyond the, the uh, week one opener against the Giants. You know, uh, Their zone coverages, Stafford, Calvin Johnson, Tate, they really succeed against those. Mm -hmm. uh, where, where Dallas succeeds is, is getting up on you early. And we've, we've seen Detroit's defense kind of come out slow several times in the second half of the year. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I mentioned the offensive line. I, I compare it more to the, the Jets game. I know that's going way back in the season, but um, you know, that was the one game where I thought a very talented offensive line kind of overpowered the Lions. Um, and, and this is that type of group. It's a very strong, physical, athletic group. Their technique is just phenomenal. It's three first-round picks. and. I, I just don't think they're going to contain Murray the same way they've contained so many backs this year. Um, you know, maybe it's just 90 yards and 4.2 yards of carry, but that that might be enough for for Romo to you know have his passing lanes. The Lions will have Endemic and Sue. He was momentarily suspended for this sure. game, was reinstated, so he'll play. I, I, I think uh, he's I think he's gonna have a great game. I really do. And, and this is a guy who's in tip top shape, uh, no matter what day of the year it is. I mean, this this guy always comes to play. Um, there's a reason why he's an All Pro again. Um, at, at the same time, I think with all of the stuff that he went through this week, I, I think you're going to see, I mean, I think he's going to come out mean. I think he's going to have a good game. Um, the, the, I mean, Dallas has, everyone talks about DeMarco Murray. Dallas has three first-rounders in that offensive line. I think they had three All-Pros, didn't they? Did you look at that? I did not look at the list. I think they have three All-Pros on their, on their, on their um, offensive line. I know the rookie line. Martin, the guard, right. is, is an All-Pro. Just a fabulous season from him. Right. Um, but I, I, I mean, I, I just think Stu's going to have a good game. I, I, 
I like the matchup for the Lions. I really do. I don't think they could have matched up better against anyone. And there's still that element of just how real are the Cowboys, how real is Tony Romo. This is a team that historically, that in recent history has struggled for the past half decade or so to succeed and when they make it to the playoffs to actually win there. I think they've lost four or five in a row now in the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, it, that's always the question. When, when a team kind of comes out of nowhere, it's, a team was three straight seasons was 500. Yep. Uh, but you can only play who you play in the regular season. Um, they went 11-1 and one in games Romo started and finished in his last 12 starts. Uh, they are arguably the hottest team of football. They just steamrolled opponents in December, yep. uh, including two very good teams in, in the Eagles and, and particularly the Colts, who I think they blasted 42-7 to seven at their place. You know, I think the, the home struggles are a bit of a fallacy since uh, one was week one, which you can almost throw out the window, and then um, two of them came where, where Romo was injured. So, uh, you, you know, I think this is a very good Cowboys team. I, I don't think anybody should be sleeping on them. Um, they're they're, they're going to be tough. Score. Uh, like I said, I think it's going to be a little bit lower scoring. Um, it's not going to be like a 10-7 defensive battle or anything, but uh, I got it 24-17. to 17. I have a 23-20. I, 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 Lions winning. I think if the Lions crack offensively, the 20-point the barrier, I think they win this game. I think their defense is good enough, again, to put the clamps on, on the Cowboys. I really do like this matchup for the Lions. The offense just has to do something. They have to score 20 points. I think they win this game. You know, if you guys are looking for a reason to be optimistic, Kyle finished 13-3 and in his season predictions. I finished 12-4. and <laughs> There's an edge there. Uh, I, like I don't know. It's a little little weird. That you're, you're usually not the optimistic one in these scenarios. I know, but I have picked games Rolls well for I don't know. I just and Lions are a remarkably difficult team to to to, to pick, at least historically, because they yeah. tend to defy your expectations one way or the other. Um, but yeah, I got a little bit lucky this year and and so forth. But um, I just like this like this matchup for the Lions. We'll see. I, I like this matchup. Period. I think it should be good. good. It game. should be intriguing. Uh, for Justin Rogers, I'm Kyle Mikey. We are M Live. Keep it right here.